Game that wrapped up this afternoon, an absolute thriller. The Phoebus Phantoms from Hampton were sitting at 14 and 0 this season and riding a 34 game win streak entering today's class four state title game against a 13 and one Salem team from the western part of the state. And did I mention this was an absolute thriller? Let's show you why. Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, we go home of the Liberty Flames. Phantoms fans made the trip. Phoebus going for its third straight state title, the last two coming in class three. First quarter, Davion Roberts. Big time touchdown from him, put the Phoebus Phantoms up 6-0, caps a 15-play, 72-yard drive. The Spartans would answer in the second quarter on the final play of the half. Peyton Lewis, the Tennessee commit, short touchdown run there, 7-6 after a missed PAT. Huge crowd, of course, on Salem. They didn't have to travel very far. Fourth quarter now, Phantoms in the red zone. How about the jet sweep handoff to Paul Steven Davis? Makes a couple cuts, and he's in the end zone to give Phoebus a 14-6 lead. Later in the fourth quarter, Salem now with the ball. You're going to see Christopher Cole Jr. He's committed to Georgia. Watch the unreal grab. He comes down with it despite the good defense. And then Javion Jones for Salem. He's going to punch it in for six. Salem got the two-point conversion. So we go tied at 14. 58 seconds left in the game. Phoebus is backed up at its own territory. Maybe play for overtime. Maybe not. Marikis Banks finds Keontae Gray, and there he goes. Green grass in front of him, 86 yards to the house with one second left on the clock, and that clinches it. The final, 21 to 14. Phoebus completes the three-peat and has now won 35 straight, 10 state titles as a program in the school's history. James Katata was there for it all. You know you're a dynasty when you don't even have to verbally explain your dominance. You can just use a couple fingers to describe it. We've always found a way, so, you know, trusted our guys, man. I, I couldn't be any prouder right now. A Phoebus versus Salem matchup that was made for primetime television. This game came down to the wire, and with seconds left in this state championship, Keontae Gray has the moment of a lifetime. I can't describe it. It's a dream come true. To end my last high school game, I'm loving it right now. I've always been dreaming of a moment, but now that it's happened, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I tell you what, man, that kid, he told me he put it on his back, and he may be little in, little in stature, but I tell you, man, he plays with a lot of heart. He plays like he's a six foot seven guy. We just did that. Hey, people's on the map, baby. We know that Jeremy Blunt has been building something special up in Hampton. But now it takes a totally different meaning when you have a freshman quarterback that's leading you to your third straight state title. Man, he's special. His big brother Adonis, when he went down, he told him that he had his back. And, you know, we had all faith in him that he could get the job done. You know, so he's, he had a special game today. All right, I'm here with Marikas Banks. Marikas, you just led Phoebus to its third straight state title as a freshman. How does that feel? It feel I feel great, man. I really, God really did it for me. I can't complain. We really, we really did it. We worked hard all summer, worked hard all off season, just for this moment right here. We're sticking around in Lynchburg because later tonight we'll have highlights from Lafayette and Liberty Christian in the Class Three title game. At Liberty University, I'm James Catato for the Sports Wrap.